Mabuhay. Greetings, a blessed day to everyone. I am Mr. Adonis E. Esibar from Marciana Picatolos National High School and currently a part-time college instructor here in San Antonio College. I feel grateful to be your speaker for today's activity. For today's topic, I was asked to talk about solid waste management. I hope that this simple information can help everyone in supporting the Republic Act Number no. 9003, or known as the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of Year 2000. To begin with, let us first enumerate the core values of our school. Are you ready? Join with me. The ten core values of SIC are respect, humility, perseverance, honesty, teamwork, cleanliness, service, social responsibility, discipline, and dignity. Being an Antiponsian, these core values are not only intended inside the school but always within ourselves. That's why having these core values make us easy to perceive the Republic Act 9003. During this time of pandemic, most of us were stuck up and locked down inside our houses. And what have you noticed during the lockdown? Have you realized that it's better to be with your family for a longer time than before? Of course, in family bonding, there's where you're going to have movie marathon. Ano-ano nga ba yung mga pelikulang napanood ninyo? Nakakatakot? Nakatuwa? O nakalungkot at nakakaiya? Sa panunod natin ng TV, ito ang hindi-hindi mawawala. Foods. Natuklas ang pangan natin, ang galing natin sa pagluluto, di ba? Kaya na hindi lamang pang pamilya, kundi ebidenta na rin natin. Kaya nagsulputa ng online sellers. Nandiyan ang mga sada, ang shopping, at kung ano-ano pa. Ang dami nating ma-order dito. Tulad ng personal hygiene, exercise equipment, and many more. At dahil dyan, hindi rin mawawala ang housekeeping na kung saan nakakaipon na pala tayo ng pinagbalutan ng mga online orders natin. Nalilinis natin ang matagal ng panahon ng nakatago at nakatambak ng mga kalat at basura sa loob ng bahay natin na sa tingin natin ay makagamit pa natin in the future. Pero hindi natin alam nagpapaskip lang pala ito sa loob ng bahay natin. Basura. Ano nga ba ang basura? Sabi nila, ito yung mga ayaw na natin, hindi na natin nagagamit ng mga, mga bagay. At wala nagsaysa. Ito yung mga nakikita nating mga kala na nakapaligid sa atin. Basura. Ito rin yung mga sinasabi ng mga solid waste na kung saan nagkagaling sa mga bahay natin. Pwede rin sa school, sa mga opisina. Pwede rin sa palengke na kung saan napakalami na ito. Pwede rin nagsasabing ito ay nagkagaling sa mga iba't ibang industries o mga paggawaan, mga factories. For this reason, our lawmakers came up with a law that will protect our environment and it was approved and signed by the President of the country. This is the Republic Act 9003 or known as Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000. Now, let us see where do this waste came from. Sources of waste. These can be broadly classified into four. Industrial, commercial, domestic, and agricultural. 
industrial waste. These are the waste created in factories and industries. Most industries dump their waste in rivers and seas, which cause a lot of pollution. Samples we have the plastic, glass, and many more. Commercial waste. Commercial waste are produced in schools, colleges, shops, and offices. Samples here are plastic, paper, and others. Agricultural waste. Ito naman yung mga dumi o mga basura na nakikita natin sa mga bukirin. Tulad na dumi ng mga hayop, mga damo, o kaya mga bunot o mga galing sa mga mais. Domestic waste. Ito naman yung mga kalat na kung saan ay naiipon natin sa anuman mga pinaggagawa natin sa bahay tulad na pagluluto, paglilinis, at kung ano-ano pa. Ito yung tiyatawag na domestic waste. Sample dito, mga dahon na nalaglagin mula sa puno, mga pinagbalatan natin ng mga gulay, pinagbugasan natin ng plato, at pwede rin yung mga kalat tulad ng pinagninuman natin ng soft drinks, mga plastic, at yung lagay ng mga ito, at kung ano-ano pa. Ngunit, hindi lamang yan ang mga kalat natin sa bahay. Lalong-lalo na ngayon, panahon ng pandemi, ito ay nanagdagan. Gaya ng surgical mask, at kung minsan, surgical gloves. Itong mga kalat na ito, ay hindi basta-basta tinatapon o isinasama sa ating mga takunan. Kundi dapat, itong mga ito ay may sariling lagayan at takunan. And these are the steps on how to dispose our used surgical mask and surgical gloves. Number one, clean hands with soap and water or even sanitizer solution. Number two, Remove the mask by the strap or the elastic cord. Number three, fold the contaminated part inward. Number four, wrap in a tissue paper, place in a plastic bag before disposing. Number five, repeat step number one, which is you're going to clean your hands with soap and water or even sanitizer solution. Take note, do not throw your used mask and gloves in a recycle bin. Let us now discuss the two kinds of waste. We have the biodegradable and non-biodegradable. In biodegradable, it is a substance or object capable of being decomposed by bacteria or other living organisms. So, ito yung mga nabubulog. Non-biodegradable cannot be changed to a harmless natural state of the action of bacteria and may therefore damage the environment. Ito yung mga basura hindi nabubulog at nagiging sanay ng pagkakasira ng ating kapaligiran. Tulad ng pagbara sa mga daluyan ng tubig kanal na nagiging sanay ng pagkabaha sa mga lugar natin. Every one of us has a big role in obtaining the RA9003. For barangay level, they shall implement segregations and collections of solid waste for biodegradable, decompostable, and reusable waste. Municipality shall be responsible for the collection of non-recyclable materials and spatial waste. At sa ating mga bahay, obligasyon din natin na doon pa lang sa loob ng bahay ay nagsisegregate na tayo ng mga kala upang alam natin kung ito ay biodegradable or non-biodegradable. Dito sa MRC o yung tinatawag ng Material Recovery Center, dinadala ang ating mga basura upang pagbubuklod-buklo rin at ilalagay 
sa dapat na kalalagyan. Tulad ng mga nagbubulog na pwedeng gawing mga pataba sa halaman. At ang mga hindi nagbubulog naman ay pwedeng i-recycle tulad ng mga papel, plastic, lata, kahoy, salamin at kung ano-ano pang mga bagay na pwede pang mapakinabangan. Dagdag ka naman, sa tulong ng Waste Analysis and Characterization Study, makikita natin at malalaman ang kasalukuyang sitwasyon ng ating pamalaan patungkol sa basura. Alam ba ninyo na bawat tao sa ating bayan ay nakakaipon ng 0.3 kilograms na basura based on December 2015 Population and Migration Information Center Survey Ang ating bayan ay mayroong 119,542 na nakatala sa atin At kung itong mga ito ay nagkaroon ng basura sa isang araw nakakaipon tayo ng 35.86 tons ng katumbas nito ay 14 trucks bawat araw. Sobrang dami. Napakarami. Ito ay nahahati sa biodegradable, recyclables, residuals with potentials, at disposal. Dahil dito, ang ating bayang tanay ay gumawa ng mga programa para ang ating mga basura ay mapalitan ng pwede nating gamitin. Ito ang mga sumusunod. Basura mo, palit gamit, palit pataba at sabong panlaba. Pangalawa, basura po. Pangatlo, must dance, let's dance with the mother nature. Number four, organic fertilizer production. At ang panglima, charcoal rigging production. Dito, sa basura mo, palit gamit eskwela, palit pataba, at palit sa mong panlaba program. These programs encourage every student, especially preschoolers and elementary students, to do segregation and separate the recycled materials and convert those items such as newspapers, cans, pet bottles, bottles, and others into basic school supplies such as writing pad, notebook, pencil, ball pen, crayons, sharpeners, using a point system methodology. This project, they also have the Basura Monster Storytelling. Sa programang ito, pinapakilala nila kung sino si Basura Monster. Meron din silang Basura mo Palit Gamit. At nakakarating sila sa Barangay Laiban, Barangay Santa Ines, Barangay Tinukan. Number two, Basorapo. This is the mechanics. This residual waste rubble system or promo is open to all tanaya. In every one kilogram of residual waste, such as any kind of plastics or thin film plastic, metallic foil, shampoo sachet with foil, cigar palara, tetra packs, laundry sachets, food wrappers, and other kinds of wrappers is equivalent to two raffle entries. Draw day will be done every last day of the month. Ten lucky winners will be drawn with the following prizes. Rice cooker, electric fan, rice dispenser, oven toaster, blender, flat iron, kettle, and household kitchen equipment. Live audience policy for grand prizes. While consolation prizes for winners 
who are not present during the draw will be notified through official communication. So these are the still photo for the Pasoran. Three, mass dance. Let's dance with the Mother Nature. So they do Zumba dancing at the park. Number four, organic fertilizer production. Na kung saan yung ating mga basurang nabubulok ay ginagawa nila para maging pataba ng halaman. Panglima, charcoal bricketing production. Mula sa iba't ibang material tulad ng baaw ng nyo o kaya corn husk. Itong mga ito ang ginagawa nilang charcoal. Ang mga raw materials dapat ito ay matuyo. Ito ay nilalagay nila sa isang lagayan upang gawing carbonize. At ito naman ang carbonizing process. Karamihan ng mga raw materials ay binibili nila sa mga dumagat communities. Ito ang gamit nila para makuha nila yung tinatawag na liquid smoke. At saan naman kaya nila gagamitin itong liquid smoke? Ito na, yung mga nalipo nilang liquid smoke. Ito pala ay pwedeng gawing deodorizer. Ang galing, di ba? Enforcement of RA 9003 in our municipality. Ito ang mga pinag-uutos ng mga batas ng RA 9003. Segregation of sources, segregated collection, materials recovery facility establishment, closure or conversion of open dumps and control disposal facilities. Pagsusunog ng mga basura, open dumping, pagbabaon ng mga byways o non-byways sa flood-prone areas. Pagdudumi at pagtatambak ng basura sa pagpublikang lugar, nagiging dahilan o ang pagpayag sa mga ganitong gawain. To summarize the simple talk, we are invited to support the RA 9003 in our little and simple own way. Do our part to save our mother nature. Let me leave you this simple quote. Little acts, great goal. My ways, my responsibility. And before I will end my talk, I just want to give credit to our forester Suset Villanueva, our Municipal Environment and Natural Resources Officer, who contributed some materials for this talk. From now on, let's do our part now. Thank you, keep safe everyone, and God bless.